Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com and today I want to show you an important tool that every homeowner should have. You normally think this tool might be used for just electronics engineers or electricians, but trust me, this tool comes in handy all the time uh, for various electrical reasons in the home. So what you're looking at here is a digital multimeter from eTech City. They just sent me this the other day and I've uh, played around with it for a while. Um, tested out some circuits with it and really enjoyed this product. It's, it's quite versatile. Um, it's got a lot of function capability in it. And I think it's an important tool that every homeowner should have. I personally use a digital multimeter all the time. Um, whenever I'm replacing lights or working on electrical circuits, I always use a tool like this to make sure power's off at the uh, outlet or switch before I actually begin doing any type of um, wiring in the electrical boxes. So I'm going to go through with, um, some of the features of this product and show you roughly how to use a tool like this in your everyday um, homeowner life. So the digital multimeter uh, from eTech City um, has a support stand that opens and closes in the back so you can stand up nicely while you're using it. Um, it also comes with this rubberized um, support that goes around it that helps protect it in case you drop it. And it comes with two uh, leads, uh, one for uh, common, one for hot uh, connections that you'll plug into the unit. This particular digital multimeter has a lot of useful functions. Uh, number one, it has a backlight on it, so when you make a measurement, you can, in a dark area, you can light up the, um, uh, the display so you can easily see it in the dark. It also has a hold feature where you make a measurement, you can hit the hold button, and it'll lock that uh, measurement in place until you hit it again and clear it. Um, with this digital volt multimeter, you can measure DC voltages from 200 millivolts up to 500 volts uh, at the various settings, and there's 500 volt over voltage protection. You can measure AC voltage, again, up to 500 volts uh, with protection. Um, it has the ability to be a continuity checker, and it'll output a, either a, a noise or a little beeping sound. Um, it also can do diode and transistor checking. Uh, it can also output a square wave, which is very useful for measuring or testing out electronic circuits, uh, for example, speaker circuits. Um, it can also measure DC amperage. And lastly, it can measure all different types of resistances from 200 ohms up to 2 mega ohms. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to use the digital multimeter to measure just a DC voltage, like for example, a battery. All we have to do is plug the red wire lead into the volt ohm milliamp socket and the common or black wire into the comm socket. Now we can take our battery and we'll put the ground lead or the black lead on the negative side of the battery and the red lead on the positive side of the battery. And we see 1.59 volts. If it was in a dark area, we could hit the backlight and we could see again 1.59 volts. Another useful function with a digital multimeter is to do a continuity check or to measure the resistance um, in a uh, conductor. And in this case, maybe even to buzz out which lead is associated with which um, connector on this plug. And what we can do is we can set this to, in this case, I have it to 20K ohms. And we can just put the common black wire on one side. And then we can just take our red lead and go around here until we find a short. And as you can see, this particular uh, gray wire is connected to this particular lead on the other end of the socket. You can tell by the fact that we have almost zero resistance. Um, I could similarly have put it on the continuity checker and we should hear a buzz when we have a connection. If I try any one of the other um, connectors, nothing. If I switch to another lead, we confirm that we've got a, this is the wire that connects to this prong. One of the most useful purposes of a digital multimeter for a homeowner is to validate that um, the circuit that you may be um, doing some electrical work on is actually off. And then when you turn the circuit breaker back on, that the voltage is, is actually um, applied and working properly on the outlet. And so we're going to measure the voltage on, on this outlet. Uh, we always want to make sure we hold the probes back on the plastic section. You never want to put your fingers on the metal when you're doing the measurements here. We're sticking the common lead into the ground uh, location on the socket, and then we're putting the, the hot or red wire onto the uh, hot line of the outlet. And as you can see, we see 122.5 volts. I can hit the hold button, 
and now I can remove the probes and you'll see I've got 122 and a half volts when I'm finished making my measurement I can then clear it out so as I've said if you're a homeowner I think everybody that's a homeowner needs a digital multimeter there's just so many useful purposes for it around the house likewise this tool is ideal for electricians electronic engineers or electronic hobbyists um, this product um, sells for roughly 30 to 35 dollars depending where you buy it you can find it on amazon.com it's from etechcity.com and the part number is msr-r500 has a one-year warranty on it and from what I can tell, it's a rugged product and it's extremely versatile. If you have other home improvement questions or looking for the other home-related product reviews, make sure to visit HomeEditionPlus.com today. Mm -hmm.